In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving trigonometric integral with the Casio FS and our ES calculator or the Casio FS 570 ES calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving trigonometric integral with the Casio FS and our ES calculator, the black one and not the white one. You will learn the tricks, the hack I used to solve problems involving trigonometric integral so ensure you stay with me till the end of this video okay guys let's get the Casio calculator now and move straight to the details of this video okay so this is the Casio calculator the black one this is the FS standard one ES calculator class weeks okay guys so I have three questions here as you can see so Ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video because the question tray that involves indefinite integration is quite different from the first two questions because this question three, the method we apply to solve it will be different from the method we apply to solve question one and question two. So, guys, ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video so that you get the full information. Okay, having known that, now the first thing you have to do with the calculator is to clear it. Now, if you have watched some of my videos, you will know that I often say this, that you should be clearing your calculator. Now, the essence of doing this is to put your calculator in default mode so that it will remove or wipe out whatever previous value or mode you might have placed your calculator on. So, to clear your calculator, for those of you that, that don't know how to do it, to clear it, all you simply have to do is to press shift for to 9 for the instruction. Now, once you initialize or you press 3, now you're asked to press equal to yes, then you're asked to press AC key. Is it that I press AC key or is uh, press equal to again? But let's press equal to again. So the calculator is now clear. Now, now that you are clear, this is not in default. So if you check closely, it's in degree. Anytime you click a calculator, anytime it's in default, it's usually in, de in degree. Now, for integration, the uh, calculator has to be in, in radial mode. Not in degree, very, very important, guys. Take note of that. So, don't solve it in degree, put it in radius to put it in radius. Simply press shift this menu button now for the instruction angle, angle unit. Go for option two now. Option two is radian, no, option one is degree, is already in degree. Want to put it in radian first to so say, guys, now in what radian, very important. Okay, having put your calculator in radian, let's go ahead and solve the questions. We have here so question one is definite integration is, is usually straightforward guys so we as you can see find the value of the integral above definite integral of log in bracket sec theta minus tan theta bracket close d theta okay guys so very very straightforward all you have to do now is to press this button that has definite integral sign on it and to come and put the upper and lower limit respectively so you move this cursor up and put the upper limit is in fashion. We have pi to bring up pi guy press shift this button click a pi here and to come out over four. Then come down put the lower limit. We have it to be minus then in fraction pi shift this button over four. Then adjust the cursor to this middle boss and put well you have a lock. Okay guys don't use this lock Look at the log if it is here to bring out the log press shift this button and to come out log now in back we have sec theta now guy there's no sec in this calculator now if you observe or check very well below here you see we have written notes cos theta is same thing as one over tan theta sec theta is same thing as one over cos theta and sec cos sec theta is same thing as one over sin theta so guys what we are going to do simply is to replace sec theta with one of our cos theta since there is no sec here very very simple guys because in trigonometry another term or language for sec theta is one of our cos theta the same thing is applicable to cot and cos sec respectively okay guys so instead of putting sec we put one of our cos size in fraction so we have one over one of our cos this is our cos so we play the theta with x very very simple guys yeah because here i say we are theta is something as x so you put the brackets 
we are good to go so what did we add here we have minus tan theta that's an s very simple guys close the brackets okay so check the bracket of balance very important guys ensure that bracket are always balanced so you can see at the right hand side how many brackets we have one and one two at the, so at the left we have two one and two we have at the right we have only one so add one more at the right to balance it so guys it's not balanced let's press record two and see the answer We have zero so guys see the answer is well zero very, very simple but let, let me show you the essence of balance the, the bracket now let me let me show you guys just watch if i remove one bracket here now then I, I have syntax error see the brackets are not balanced let's press record the C syntax error so there is need of balancing what the bracket guys don't forget that let's put it back i think i'll get our answer zero so that is as simple as that so that's for question one now let's solve a similar question that's question two the option is option b zero now let's solve question two so it says evaluate the definitive function of these values so you play this symbol again so you put the upper limit upper limit is in fraction that's pi over that shifts this pi comma pi over four Okay, guys over the lower limit is what zero so move the cursor to this middle boss is in fraction we have sine two theta okay guys, sorry okay we have sine yes two theta alpha x then over we have cos to the power of 40 guys now pay attention in what i'm going to do here and i'm very important because if you're not careful this might confuse you or make you solve something else so guys what this means is you should duplicate this cos theta up to four times that you should do cos theta times cos theta times cos theta times cos theta up to four times now if you don't want to you know waste time do it like that the simplest way to do it to represent it on, on this calculator is to press cos then we have theta that replace with x alpha x close the brackets then put the power use the power function and put four so this is the easiest way to do it this is the same thing with what we have here then we have plus we have sine the same thing for the sine alpha x close the brackets then raise the power four so guys that's it no brackets to that question okay we are good to go guys let's press records and see where we're going to have as an answer now 0 0.78 so option a says 0 okay guys so let's check simplify option b and option c and see they want to give us 0 0.78 let's give us option b i would pi shift this pi comment over 8 Press record to now to convert this to decimal. Press SD 0 0.39. No, we have we, we got 0 0.78. So let's quickly check option C. Let's adjust this here, guys. Um, remove this 8 and put 4. Very, very simple, guys. Press record to now yeah, let's change it to decimal. Exactly. So, guys, this is our answer. Option D says pi. Yeah, pi. So, guys, our answer is what well, option C. Very, very simple. So lastly, let's talk with your trade. Hope you are learning something interesting, guys. Now, if you are new to our channel, ensure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos. Also, like this video, guys. Now, this is Ego's class. Give this video a thumbs up. What we do basically in Ego's class is to provide young scholars like you with tips and other necessary information that will simplify your academic problems. So, if such things interest you if you would love to be getting tips and other necessary information directly from us that will be helping to simplify your academic problems ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys that's it this is basically what we in Egos class okay having known that let's go ahead and solve question three so question three is indefinite now for indefinite integration the approach is different from 
solving definite equation like question one and two we just solved so for this question how we do it since it's indefinite you need to store a number now you can choose any number you want but i usually recommend two for people i teach so the instead of using two because I have worked with it for a long time and I have not found any error with it. There, there were some cases I used other numbers and it didn't give me the right, the precise answer. But since I've been working with it, I've always gotten the, the right answer value. So that's why I, I recommend to for people I teach guys. So to start to on this calculator, press two first, then press shift. No, don't press shift guys, sorry. Pressing shift for the white one. For this one, don't press shift. Once you put the number first, go ahead and press this store. And the alphabet you want to store it as you want to store it as X, press this button and indicate that two has been stored as well. X very important guys. Don't go and press shift. Now let me show you. If if you just press two and go and press shift and this, you will see this. Something else. It's very, very confusing, guys. So don't don't press shift, just press the number once, then this and this and indicate here that two has been stored. In the calculator so guys having stored this number now the idea behind this is to simplify the question or evaluate the question and then differentiate the option for indefinite equation guys so having known that let's go ahead and simplify the question that simplify whatever you have we use it to evaluate sorry differentiate the options to see the one that we run with the value that we get from simplification okay guys so let's simplify so we have exponential press shift lane exponential commas raised power x alpha x okay guys so we have sec x there is no sec we put one of our costs okay okay guys let me do something now sorry let's put the fraction fair before the exponential so that we know and get confused so we just do what i just did Okay, guys. So now we have one over, one over cos x sec x. The same thing. One over cos x after x close the brackets. Okay, guys. That's what we have there. So go here. Put in brackets. Remember, this is the question we are simplifying. Simplify this question. Then we have one plus tan x. That is tan here. So this is the tan x alpha x close the brackets so the dia is not part of the equation guys so no need in putting it here so this is the only what we have to simplify exponential is power x sec s in back one plus tan x so that's it guys let's press support and see what it's going to give us it's 1.04 so now that we have to 1.04 we're going to differentiate the options to see the one that give us 1.04 so anyone that give us anyone that gives us 21.04 we definitely be our answer guys so let's go ahead and differentiate option a to bring out the over the express shift this definitely got sign button and it will come out so yes differentiate option a so we, let's begin with the fraction one of our course that will not have that issue again so we have every the exponential and shift lane and to come out alpha x okay so guys we have one over we have one over cos since what we have is sec like s alpha x put it back here guys okay so go ahead and put the two is starting we start the different number when you get here you put that different number but since it's two restore what we put here the two restore guys very simple put the two stored here one more one more thing you have to take note of ensure your bracket are balanced i think i've said it before when i was solving this question one so guys very important ensure that your brackets are always balanced so having known that let's press record and see if we have 21.04 Confirm so guys our answer is option A. It's as simple as that. But let's see if option B and see if we have something similar. So what the difference? Just let's go back and and put plus for option B. No, no plus. Just put tan. 
than x alpha x with brackets. So check the bracket balance. We have three, one, two, three. Check, you check the right and the left. We have three, one, two, three. So the bracket balance is equal to. So we have no. Then what is option C? Option C, option C is okay. Exponential. So the only thing you have to do is to remove this one of our cos. Now we have the uh, balance the bracket, guys. Very, very important. You want the bracket. Is that correct? Yeah, so two here. Two here, so it's correct, guys. Let's press record. Don't put the plus C, guys. Don't put the plus C. The plus C is just a constant. So our answer is what? Option A. Is the, we're going to give us this 1.04. So, guys, this is it. Don't forget because as some questions you, see, you will see, the, there is you see cuts in it, and there are some you see cosec. So when you are, when you see cut, it places one of a tan, and when you see my cosec, it places one of our sign. And just as we saw cosec here, we place it one of our cos. It's as simple as that, guys. So with this, we have come to the end of the class. These are the tricks, the hack I used to solve problem involving trigonometric integral with the Casio FS another one. Yes, calculator of the Casio FS five seventy years calculator. So guys, I hope you learned something interesting. Now, if you are new to our channel, once more, sure you subscribe to our channel now for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below, and I'll ensure to give you a response. Now, once you are done, get a calculator. We are on good and we are good to go guys that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in my next video